welcome to my channel, Meditating Human. I am Tiffany, and today for our mantra meditation, I wanted us to think about taking risks. And the reason why that's so important is because of why I wanted to speak about it. It's because a lot of us, me included, get caught up in our comfort zone and we don't want to leave it because it's comfortable. So what ends up happening? We get stuck in a rut. We get caught up in a loop. And then we look back or we, we wake up one day and we're like, well, what the hell happened to my life? It wasn't supposed to be like this. It wasn't supposed to turn out like this. It was supposed to be very different. What I've learned and what I'm still learning is that you have to make an effort. You have to actively make an effort. To follow your purpose, to figure out your purpose, even if you're like, I'm happy doing what I'm doing, but I am in a loop to do something different. Like when I want to do something different, um, for instance, if I want to go splurge, go do something like I, I'm going to with my daughter going to Miami to do the Van Gogh immersive experience. Um, and I'm excited about that and go have dinner at Fogo. The ego says, but you have bills to pay that money would be better served paying those bills. I am not doubting that. Spirit says, go do it because when you are on your deathbed, you are not going to remember paying your, <laughs> paying your bills. And for the record, all my bills are paid, but so this is a splurge, but you're not going to remember, you know, giving a bill extra money. You're not, that's not going to be what you're, the memory that you're going to go with on your deathbed. It's going to be, I got to enjoy the immersive Van Gogh experience where you're actually inside, not actually, but where you feel like you're inside the paintings. You know, that's what I'm going to remember. I'm going to remember going to London with my daughter so I can geek out over the Harry Potter set. That's what I'm going to remember. I'm not going to remember that, <sighs> yeah, I had, you know, instead of, instead of going out and, and enjoying life a little bit, I decided to give this credit card that extra money so I can stay home and watch Netflix and do the same thing that I do every weekend. Or... I'm going to take the risk and start my own thing. I'm going to put myself out there. Knowing that not everyone is going to like it. Knowing that it's okay that it's not for everyone. Knowing that I can't take things personally. Which was huge for me, by the way, because I am introverted and I am more of a background person. So being in front of the camera every day is a huge deal for me. And then being on these platforms, huge deal for me because I am more of, I'm a behind the camera person, not of in front of the camera person. That's, I, that's never been me. Like so much so, I don't take pictures. Guess that's out the window now, but I don't take pictures. I mean, even though I'm on camera, like I still won't take a picture. Still refuse to take pictures. Um, but it's a risk that I needed to take in order to see my goals 
aka my dreams come to fruition, to see that happen, to see that start to take shape. When you, in order for you to take risks, in order to see your goals happen, you've got to come out of your comfort zone. And it's something that I remind myself of every day. And if I, if I, you know, get in a rut, my daughter reminds me of it, mom, like, you, you know, you're getting caught up in a loop, you know, you got to get out your comfort zone if you want to be successful in a book. And she's right. She's right. You've got to get out of your comfort zone and you got to go and take those risks, even if it means failure, because we all know, like when you go out of your comfort zone and you go to do something different, it also means risking failure. And that's okay. There is no shame in that. There's nothing wrong with that because you take what you've learned from the first experience and you go ahead and apply it to the second experience and you keep moving forward. There's no such thing as failure. Failure is a myth. All it is is a learning experience. You only fail if you do nothing with it. With it. You only fail if you allow the experience to defeat you and then you sit there in helplessness and victimhood because you've tried and you failed and so that's it. You've proven to yourself that you can't do it. Bullshit. If something doesn't succeed at first, you do it again. The saying it's not wrong. You know, at first you, you know, what is it? At first, if, if you, at first, if you don't succeed, try, try again. Yeah, for real. You keep doing it until you succeed. And it may be that the way you did it before was not maybe the best way, but the way you're going to do it the third, fourth, or fifth time, a combination of everything that you learned and a combination of all of that, then will bring success with that particular goal that you have in mind. The people that shame you for failing are the same people that are doing nothing with their lives and it's the same people that are themselves not doing anything. So they, I promise you, don't want to see you succeed because it makes them look bad and it doesn't even have anything to do with you. Misery loves company. Keep that in mind when people don't support your efforts. I am comfortable with who I am. I am always being my authentic self. I love myself every day. Every day I'm taking risks and moving in direction that I want to move in. Until next time, dear hearts, love and light. Bye.